I started this DIY with a football reframe that I purchased at Dollar Tree and I traced it out onto a piece of cardboard. This will be the back of my light. I cut out the cardboard shape. Next, I attached metal floral ribbon that I purchased at Dollar Tree using zip ties. I added my zip ties through the back of my wreath, through my ribbon, and back through the back of my wreath at a diagonal angle so that it sat across the cross sections of my wreath form. It would be easier to start adding your ribbon at the top or the bottom of your wreath form and then working your way down. And make sure that all of your knots from your zip ties are at the back of your wreath form. Once I was done adding my metal ribbon to my reform, I took it outside and I spray painted it silver and I began working on the back of my light. I cut out a piece of silver tablecloth that I purchased at Dollar Tree and I attached it to my cardboard. I applied Elmer's glue to my cardboard, but of course any adhesive that would stick plastic to cardboard can be used. I spread my Elmer's glue over my cardboard.
I placed my piece of tablecloth on top of my Elmer's glue and I spread it out to get it as even as possible. Then I turned it over and placed a heavy object on it and allowed it to completely dry. Then I cut off the excess tablecloth from my cardboard form. I decided that I wanted to be able to remove my light, so I used the plastic container that I purchased at Dollar Tree for a housing. Once I made sure that my lid would open and close easily, I attached my reef form to my cardboard using Gorilla Hot Glue. Some of my zip tie knots were in the way, so I pushed them through using my scissors and I continued to glue my reform to my cardboard.
Once my glue dried, I painted the back of my light with acrylic black paint and I allowed my paint to completely dry. Next, I attached my light housing using Gorilla Clear Grip. I tested my light to see if it would work. And I placed it face down into my housing. To hang this light on the wall, I used a hook that I already had from a previous project. And I attached it to my light using Gorilla Hot Glue and a tack. After my hook was applied and my glue dried, this is my final product. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next DIY.